So one thing we haven't done is you haven't filtered this, right? So let's go and do that. So let's uh, let's filter this by creating a filter and drag it over by quarter, and you'll notice that there's a slider automatically created for calendar quarter. And if you want to scroll down and, and product uh, let's do product subcategory, you can do that as well. So now basically what I've done is, and let's save this before, uh, as you know with uh, anything, save early and often, right? So let's, uh, I don't know what it's loading. Let's do a demo. Let's click save. And basically you're in the designer and, and you've created this visualization. Now if you want to look at it um, in a full screen mode, what your users would see, just go to, go to home and pop up and you got reading mode and, and full screen, right? So let's go to full screen. And then that's it. You can see your visualization. You can play with it. You can interact with it. Um, what's great about Power View is, is that any part of this visualization is filterable. Is that a word? I don't know. But you can filter on any region or anything in this side in this visualization. So for example, if 2007, I want to just filter all the numbers and everything for 2007, just click. You'll notice all of the regions are linked and they all changed. If you've ever created a performance point dashboard, um, you know to get the regions all linked. It's not hard, it's just tedious. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of steps involved. So to unclick it and give you all back, you can click that filter there. Any part of the visualization um, is filterable with, you know, here are the years inside of this graph. Uh, if you're going to do Southwest Territory for 2005, you'll notice all the numbers change, right? So they're all filterable. I don't know if that's a word. I keep using it. But um, over here in calendar, you can slide this, the calendar and you say quarter three. You'll notice these numbers change again. Um, if you're interested in some kind of subcategory, like, um, you know, let's look at helmets, you know, all these numbers change right, right before your eyes. So that's, that's basically uh, a simple visualization with PowerView and done in probably about five minutes. Um, so let's exit out of that. And then what I want to do is I want to create another visualization, right? So this is one of many. I'm going to create three today. Um, I'm going to go into this view right here, click that. You can see there's my first view. So what you can do to create a new one is you click on this little down arrow and you can duplicate the view. If you like a lot of the things you've used in your previous visualization, you can use it in a new view. You can use it in a view by duplicating it or you can just say a new view and it'll put an actual another view to this um, report actually in the same physical report when you're, when you're storing it or looking at it. So here I just created another view and now what I'm doing is um, let's create one. I want to show you guys a scatter chart, right? Because I don't know if you've seen this, but um, scatter chart is actually pretty cool. So let's give it a name called scatter demo. And then what I want to do is uh, let's take some of these elements from here. And let's just say uh, sales amount, which is value, because it's got a KPI on it. And then let's take product profit. Let's take the sales units and let's do that by territory, All right? Territory, and then let's do a date on it and by year. And you'll see what I'm doing. This will make sense to you in a second. Um, so bear with me here. We'll pick calendar year. So basically, I'm going to take this grid that I just created or this region. And I'm going to make it the entire report, right? I'm going to size it down just a little bit here. And grab it in the corner. And so up in my visualizations box here, I'm going to create a scatter chart. Now when I do that, you're going to see everything change. So basically what I've done is I've created a visualization where, you know, Australia, all of my territories, and you, you hover over them and you can see that, you know, sales amount, profit, how many sales units they've done over the year, um, it's set up on this axis. And then now, inside of a scatter, you have this thing called a play axis. So basically what you can do is play the data across the years since I've decided to use year and see how it's changed or what the trends look like. You can still do all the same things you've done in our previous visualization, which is you can take that and filter it by any way you'd like. 
So you know, if you want to do the same thing we sort of did in the other one, which is uh, calendar quarter, you can put that in here. If you want to do uh, product subcategory, I think that's what we did in the previous one. You can put that in there too. And you'll just notice when you click on any of these, you know, the the, the visualization just changes a bit. So the same rules apply. Um, let's save this. And let's go into now in our full screen mode again. And then now you have two visualizations, right? So something before I play this and before I make it see, you can actually go down to here, this little box down here, and you can navigate all of the slides, right? So then that's pretty cool. You can kind of go, there's the dashboard we created before. And there is the scatter that we just created. Now scatter really becomes cool when you hit the play button, right? So let's look at our data from 2005 through 2008. And you can see that, you know, Australia starts to take off. But then in 2007, Southwest starts catching up and Australia starts to trail a little bit um, within their sales numbers and, 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 you know, profit and everything else. So that's a, uh, that's a scatter. So let's do that. So we exited out of that. So the next thing I want to do is, again, I'm going to create another tile review. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a map. Um, and maps are, you know, one of those new features. And it's actually integrated with Bing Maps. So if you can have some of your data with, uh, you know, some geocoded information on it, and you're using Power View, it'll automatically pull up a map with all that data behind it. So let's let's do that. Uh, now I have to caution you, uh, this was crashing on me earlier, so um, I'm only going to use a small amount of data. I don't know if it's because I'm using a CTP version of SharePoint, um, but I'm just going to, just to show you a demo for demo purposes, if I create a lot of data, it crashes. So uh, that's why I'm making it very simple. So let's do our, our sales, right? So sales units, let's drag that in here. You'll notice I'm repeating the same process on every visualization that I create. Um, I'm not doing anything different. I'm creating a canvas, I'm dragging in data, I'm picking a visualization and I'm organizing it. Um, it it's the same thing pretty much over and over with, with PowerView. There are some advanced features and I'm going to show you that um, next.